is early May here and um, we're on the Olympic Peninsula and went for a little bit of a walk hike today and did a bunch of foraging and found all kinds of really good stuff. I'm going to share with you uh, what we found and um, a couple videos of what they look like and maybe you'll be able to go out and find yourself some edible treats. Oh, and sorry about all the noise from the river. It's a really loud river, but you can't get away from them up here. So, so here we've got some Claytonia. It's a cousin of Miner's Lettuce, which is another variety of Claytonia. This is called Candy Flower. The leaves don't go all the way around the stem like they do with Candy Flower. Um, you've got leaves on the opposite side, and then they make a little white flower with pink stripes and then we've got let's see I picked bunches and bunches of oxeye daisy today this has become what is probably my favorite spring green super super tasty uh, it reminds me of arugula but just not so peppery it's got kind of like a sweet um, very flavorful flavorful green. Everybody that tries this loves it. Give it a shot. There's more of that in here. Um, we also got a bunch of fiddlehead ferns. So it's a bit late for fiddlehead. Um, these are the, the new fern shoots that come from the ostrich fern. Um, but we're a little bit higher up where we are today so they're not completely leafed out just yet. We found a really big patch and we were able to go through and um, find some nice shoots that uh, were just starting to come out. So we picked a bunch of those. Let's see what else we got in here. A um, bunch more of the oxide daisy. So I'm going to be using the daisy in a salad. I'm also going to try um, sauteing that up. The Claytonia is also going to go in a salad. Um, the oxide daisy, we're also going to uh, try it. I'm going to saute some of that up in some garlic butter along with some of the other stuff that we got in here. So uh, things are a little bit, a little bit buried. Um, I got a bunch of, oh, hold on a second. Okay, so there we go. I've got things all laid out now a little bit better. Um, so the um, candy flower, Claytonia, True Miner's Lettuce, Claytonia. There wasn't a whole lot of that up there, so we just have a tiny little bit. I thought I had picked a lot more cleavers. Um, cleavers is this little um, five to six petaled flower. It looks like that's only five. I thought they always had six. That radiate out from the stem. So it makes a good pot herb, makes good tea, also makes a nice healing balm. But we actually tried um, munching on just the tender tips this time around and we're really surprised by those. It has kind of like a very like a vanilla licorice uh, sort of flavor so if you catch that when it's young and tender it's actually kind of nice. I think that would be great in a salad. Um, and then again the fiddlehead ferns. Um, one of the first things that I harvested was all of this um, fireweed tips. Um, they're very they're very bitter. Um, just to eat raw, but we're going to try sauteing those up in some garlic butter uh, along with some of these other things. And then I just got a bunch of random um, berry leaves. We have some blackberry leaves, um, Oregon grape leaves, some wild strawberry leaves, um, wild, um, those are either red huckleberry or blueberry, but either way, those are going to be nice in a tea. And then Oregon grape leaves and an Oregon grape flower. So, that is our foraging haul for today. Thanks for watching. I love foraging for wild food and I had a lot of fun on the trail today sharing with some other hikers that were that we just passed by and were curious about what we were gathering. Most people were out looking for morels, but I'm all about the plants. Uh, Jim was hunting for morels. No luck on the morels today. He did find some false morels, but no true morels. So we'll have to hunt again another day. Check out the link in the description to the blog post where I will share um, a little bit more information about each of these plants and also how we're using them and eventually I'll probably even get around to posting a few recipes.